On the 22nd of September 2014, Tina Jumat peterson then Energy Minister, apparently struck a secret deal with Russia. This contract is said to be binding for 20 years and paves the way for Rosatom to build nuclear facilities in South Africa. We are concerned citizens standing up against the unlawful and unconstitutional exercise of power by the government. In October 2015, Earthlife Africa and Southern African Faith Communities Environment Institute filed their application in the Western Cape High Court. They say a decision of such importance requires public participation and the minister had failed to consult. The first time the South African public heard that the country was definitely going nuclear was on the 21st of December 2015. It was published in a government gazette. In relation to the requirement and procurement of nuclear new generation capacity made by the first respondent on the 11th of November 2013, mm. with the concurrence of NURSA given on the 17th of December 2013, is unlawful and unconstitutional and it is reviewed and set aside. Now the Western Cape High Court has set aside all proposed nuclear deals. The Department of Energy and ESCOM will have to go back to the drawing board and restart the procurement process. The nuclear deal with Russia is at the heart of the state capture controversy. It's believed to have been one of the key reasons for the removal of Finance Minister Ntlantla Nene in December 2015. The Gupta family purchased a uranium mine around the same time. The deal has raised major concerns about the potential for corruption. It will cost 10 times more than the controversial arms deal signed in 1999. The 1 trillion rand deal needed to build 9,600 megawatt producing nuclear power stations is close to government's annual budget, which makes it unaffordable. As with the arms deal, powerful politically backed companies are involved and a lot can be kept secret in the name of national security. National Treasury has always been reluctant to approve the deal. We will uh, phase the implementation of a program like that in accordance with our, our affordability. Secondly, we'll have to go through a proper transparent procurement process. So it's going to be a year or two or more before we can definitely say how long, how much and over what period of time. Uh, we're going to uh, manage this program. However, Malusi Gigaba, Gordon's successor's public commitment to nuclear power dates back to at least 2013 when he was public enterprises minister in charge of ESCOM. For the time being, the South African public can breathe a sigh of relief as the plan that has the potential to cripple the country's economy is shelved. Lauren Rose Joseph, Johannesburg.